there. In this demonstration, I'd like to take a look at a command that I get asked about a lot, and that is, how can I compare two SOLIDWORKS models against one another to see what variations or differences there might be in the geometry? And we can do that with the compare geometry command that's found under the tools menu. Now keep in mind, this is a command that's only available for SOLIDWORKS Professional and SOLIDWORKS Premium. It is not available in the core SOLIDWORKS standard product. You might have situations where maybe you have two different revision levels of a part, or you might have imported geometry that you want to compare against another body. And in this case, the compare geometry command is going to do a really nice job of that for you. What we can do is run the, uh, the compare geometry command and take a look at the task pane interface that shows up. First, we'll specify the reference document, and that's just the part that I have in memory. For the modified document, that's the part that I'm comparing to. I'll browse to a directory that contains my comparative document, and here I'm just going to pick on that A01 revision of this similar part. Now just a quick visual inspection between these two, I can see that there are a few small differences, but to, to find out all the differences in the geometry would really take some close inspection, and that's where this compare geometry command is really going to do its job. When I look over in the interface at the items to compare, I can specify document properties such as part numbers, descriptions, material information. I can also do a feature by feature comparison to track what features might be different in one part versus another. Now that's useful if you're comparing two SOLIDWORKS created parts, native SOLIDWORKS parts. If you have a case with imported geometry or if you're simply interested in looking at the, the geometry differences between a part, then just choose the geometry option here. Now it is important that the parts would have this have a similar orientation. That is, their their origin and their orientation needs to be the same. Otherwise, the the compare feature is not going to work. So if you have two bodies that aren't in the same orientation, you have an option to align the parts with respect to individual coordinate systems within each part. The reason that's important is because behind the scenes. SOLIDWORKS is combining these two parts, basically superimposing them on each other, and then doing a Boolean subtraction to find out what the, the additive, subtractive, or common volumes is between them. Once we've specified the right options, we'll run the comparison. Now this may take a few seconds, depending on how complex the geometry is. Now once the compare tool has finished running, we see our primary part in the, in the top window, and then we see a volumetric comparison in the lower window. Over in the task pane, I have some options to show the material removed, material added, and common volume between the parts. So for example, when I pick on material removed, this shows the material that must be removed from the first part in order to arrive at the second part. So anything in blue is material that would need to be removed. And right now I can see that the second part is a little bit thinner due to this, this purple face. There's also a chamfer that was removed. And it looks like the fillets are a little bit smaller in the second part. To look at the material added, I can see some brown geometry here, which is plugging in a hole. So my second part doesn't have the hole that shows in this first part, and so forth. So we can use this volumetric comparison to show the differences between the two instances of the model. And we can isolate all of those individual components as far as the material that has to be added to the first part to get the second, the material that has to be removed from the first to get the second, and so on. You can also save this geometry comparison to an HTML-based report. And just like that, that's how you can take two different SOLIDWORKS models and compare them for feature, property, or geometric similarities.